This is the Museum of Architecture and Archaeology, I think. It may come alive and hit me. You think so? Yeah. Maybe I'll put a spell on your boat. How about that? I didn't say you could put your hands on him. <laughs> he doesn't seem to mind. Ah, uh, probably not. Are you reading what he's writing? Mm. Nosy, aren't you? Could be. What do you think? You didn't tell me. Could be. Okay. Push it again? Yeah, if you want to stop. The university owns about 100 plaster casts of sculpture, mainly Greek and Roman, but 11 represent later periods. Four of the casts were gifts to the Nelson Arkin Museum of Art in 1973, but the bulk of the collection was acquired for the university in 1895 and 1902. John Pickard personally selected the cast on trips to Europe. Dr. Pickard was professor of classical art and archaeology and founder of the university's Department of Art History and Archaeology in 1892. The records of the 1895 show that the first 50 casts and the archaeological models were acquired from casting studios in Germany, France, and England. Apparently, no correspondence exists concerning the second acquisition in 1902. But at that time, the local newspaper, the Daily Tribune, reported that 30 or 40 casts were acquired. Until 1940, the collection was on view in the Museum of Classical Archaeology, housed in a large gallery on the third floor of Academic Hall, now Jesse Hall, the Campus Administration Building. For 20 years, however, from 1940 to 1960, the casts were pushed to one end of the gallery and hidden from view to provide space for art classes. In 1960, the Art Department moved and the Department of Art History and Archaeology was reestablished. In 1935, it had been split between the Departments of Art and Classics. The casts were brought back out, cleaned, and painted. In 1975, the collection, the collection was transferred to Pickard Hall. Most of it is on exhibit in the gallery, but some pieces are on display in the lecture hall and hallways, or kept in the offices and museum storage. Picker Hall, once the chemistry building, was renovated in 1975-76 as a home of the Museum of Art, Archaeology, and the Department of Art History and Archaeology. Thank you. This guy is called Discobolus, or Disc Thrower. What? They show, the, they, they show movies here uh, in the museum. One of the ones they showed is... This is a Roman sculpture from 40 BCE. So this guy is Sophocles. Oh, is that Socrates?
Aphrodite. And Apollo Belvedere. It's a good thing we let the dogs out, by the way. They did plenty. Good. Homer. This one. What adventure? It was the Dionysus. Dionysus. Mask twenty two. Oh, mm -hmm. what's twenty? Whoa, figure inscribed for a man named Tutu, Tutu, Tutu son of some whatever. Did you want to look more at the Egypt so This guy's missing all. His body is gone. They only did a statue of him. It's called a bust. They just do the head. See that lady back there in the stone? She just got her hands and her legs in the face and other statues. Now, I'm going to play a little I Spy with you. Have you ever played I Spy? 
Who's it? 